Okay, next, mold. Mold was a very hot topic for a very short period of time. And um, most of the mold problems we have in our properties are bathrooms that need to be cleaned. You know, a little Clorox goes a long way, is what my mom says. But once insurance companies paid out a couple settlements, they deemed it an environmental hazard. And because it's an environmental hazard, it's not a covered liability item. So if attorneys aren't going to get any, are there any attorneys in the audience? I'm in. Okay. So as long as the attorneys don't think they're going to get a big fat bucket of money for that, then they're not going to go after you because then they're just going after your assets. Most tort attorneys, most people that are going after you for a liable situation are really going after your insurance. Okay? So mold isn't anywhere near as big of an issue. It, the uneducated person will call us and tell us, you know, they're, they're dying of mold poisoning, and then we'll go in with a little Lysol and a little bleach and clean it up. Um, but because there is no coverage, there's not normally an attorney that's going to take on their case for free because they know they're not going to get anything. Um, another area that's very important is what's called egress. And egress means if there's a fire and it's chasing you through the hallway, how are you going to egress or leave that building? A lot of homes in Ohio have basements, and people like to put bedrooms and finished rooms in the basement, which is a great use of the space, except there's some very specific rules of egress that say in order for there to be a sleeping space in the basement, then there has to be a window of at least I think it's, I'm going to, I forgot to look at this. I'm not a good numbers person all the time. I think it's 48 inches, but it can be no more than four feet off the ground, and it has to be large enough for you to get out of it if there was a fire. So when you're buying homes, you need to make sure that if they're advertising a, a bedroom in a lower level from a liability perspective, that there is proper egress. And then that's your window sizes. It's the same thing if they're on a second floor. They're, they have to be large enough for someone to crawl out of. Make sense? 